Hi everyone, in this video we are going to use this again SQL Studio, uh, SQL Lite Studio and in this SQL Lite Studio we will be adding some databases and we will be creating some tables here. Uh, so in our previous video we have set up this uh, SQL Lite Studio which is actually graphical user interface to SQL Lite database and uh, now I'm going to start the SQL Lite Studio again here just by double clicking there. And after that, we will have the graphical user interface of SQLite Studio in front of us. And then the first step will be to create, uh, to add some databases. So it may, it is taking some time because I am on my virtual machine. Maybe double click again here. So because of virtual machine and then also my, the speed there, internet speed, uh, not internet speed, but the computer. So now we have this interface in front of us and uh, now if to create database here we have to just click on this database and yes by the way this is the interface for SQL Studio and on this side on the left hand side you can see we will have the databases there but at the moment we don't have any databases because we have not created any uh, databases yet. So for that to create database or to add database here we just click this databases and then we click on add a database here and then here we can select the database type so we are selecting SQL uh, Lite 3 and then you can see we have the other version as well but we are uh, selecting SQL Lite 3 and then here we have to select a path so you can see here we have to create a new database file, database file so for that I'm going to click on this one here and then you can see this is uh, the uh, the location where this will be created this data file will be created let's say we give it as a name let's say i'm giving the first one set test test is the name of databases maybe you can have any name there so i'm going to click save here and then you can see this database with file path and this name has been uh, selected which i selected now and now it says that this has been uh, done and just i click ok so with this you can see uh, our first database is shown on this in this database pan you can see here and now after this in this database if you want to maybe create some tables here so when i double click this on this database you can see we have tables and views and when i click on table here we don't have anything yes we don't have anything and now here if we want to create tables then maybe we just right click there and you can see we have an option to create a table we click on that create a table and then this window is shown which is on the uh, on the right hand side you can see this the table and this table will be created in this database you can see we have only one database that is test otherwise if we have multiple databases maybe we can select those databases from here now in this test database we are going to create our very first table so let's say that first table can have uh, any name let's say we are going to give it a name of student and this is the name of our table and after we have selected the name for the table we can uh, add some columns in it in that table and to add columns in this table we just have to go here you can see this somehow shows that this is a vertical line here so that shows this is the um, option to add columns there so when i click there so this shows me the uh, a window where i can select any name for this column so let's say for the first column name i'm going to select a name that is student id let's say and data type for student id can be let's say that can be integer and then we can also specify the other things let's say i'm selecting that this this uh, student id will be primary key so you can see if we have other option as well not null unique foreign key but at the moment we are selecting this student id to be uh, the primary key for this table and then i'm selecting ok and with this you can see we have very first column in our table we have inserted first column and the same if you want to add second column let's say again we select on that vertical line and this new window appears 
and the name for the second column can be let's say first name for the student and that can be let's say that can be of character or char type and then we just click ok to make it simple that is ok and that this is our second column in the same way we can add third column here let's say that third column can be our, the last name of student and data type again we can specify here again same and then we click ok so that can be char or character data type and then click ok so now we have these three columns and so after creating table we added three columns in it and after that we need to click on this tick and this is the commit structure changes so when we click there then it will show us some queries to be executed so as a result of that this sql query will be executed and if you are a bit familiar with this uh, sql then you can see this create table this is a table name and these are different attributes of that and after this we if we just click ok then you can see here we also have uh, the status that may be at this time during it took this much time and this committed change for the table student successfully it means table has been created in our uh, database and that was a test databases and you can click also here for to refresh structure and then this refresh structure and then if you want to see that what is in our tables here so that was the tables and within that table we have this student table here and within that student table we have these columns one columns uh, so yes when we click on this column we have this column student id first name and the last name in the same way if we don't have actually at the moment we don't have any indexes we don't have triggers also we don't have created uh, we haven't created any views but if we create these views then we can find those views as well so at the moment we just have created one table and in the same way if you want to create maybe other tables then we just click on uh, or sorry right click on these tables and you can see it shows that how we can create uh, more tables in the in the same database and the database name is test if you remember so this is how we can create tables and how we can add columns in sql light studio and uh, now after this if let's say if you want to run some SQL query to find some specific uh, information from that table so for that we will just go in the menu bar here and in the menu bar we can click on this tools and after that you can see we have this open SQL editor we click there and then in this SQL editor we can say let's say we can say we can run some SQL query so that is se select all s-e-l-e-c-t select and star it means select all and we want to select all from a table and that table name was what was the name tab that table name was a student so we say a student and then we just say semicolon so after this uh, query we just have to click here you can see this play button so this play button will execute this query and when we click there we should have a result here but it says that we have made somewhere maybe mistake if we remove this one and click then again maybe still i made some mistake mm. yes maybe instead of star i just use maybe other yes so i think now this was error so you can see this we can we are getting error messages in the status bar so now again if i execute this query you can see now it says that query finished in this much time so this is actually status bar also shows that how much time uh, was taken by this query and this may be helpful for query optimizations in some of the cases so query has been executed and uh, now we have this grid view and this is the result here but remember we have not added any data in this uh, table we just created tables and we added then uh, the 
names for those uh, columns and now if we want to add data in that table then we again go to our table here and then we to go to our columns let's say and in this column uh, so this was query and yeah this is query and this is our table sorry in this bar here down you can see this query we need to go back to our student table like this and after we uh, when we are this so you can see this here at the bottom we have this sql query editor it's different thing and here we have the student table itself within test database so click there and now to add data in our table we have to click on this tab oh sorry in data here and in data you can see we have these uh, column names and now to add data we'll click on this plus button here so this shows that insert row and we need to click there and you can see this is the first row where we have to uh, put information for student id let's say first student has a student id of 001 so just we have to, sorry we have to just click here double click 001 just a second maybe num lock is there sorry for that so that will be 001 and let's say first name can be any name here and let be any newbie and let's say last name will be gd and then maybe if we click there and uh, if we delete selected row we can also delete this one because we have added many rows mistakenly so i'm going to click this row and delete this one and uh, maybe for rest of the rows we can put some data here and we can say this first name is gd and here we can say networking and we can have third student three and we can say newbie and we can say maybe gd like this so we have filled uh, this uh, these columns and we have created three rows in this table and after creating these all we have to click on this uh, tick so that is to commit these all changes click there and if everything is fine then we should have that this has been done and yes and after this we can click on refresh button and we have this and now if we go back to our sql query editor here click there and now if we run this query let's see we click there and now you can see we have this uh, view we have the data which we just entered but now we are in this sql editor and this was our table and now you can see we have this uh, result from this query where we have selected all of the elements from student table and uh, now we have some other options you can see here if you just hover over there if you click on this one and t and with t you can see the format has been changed so that is only for formatting this these text and then we have here we if you want to clear execution history and then you can see this is export results so whatever results we receive here we can also export those results by just clicking here we just have to click there and then a new window appears and in this new window it shows that what you want to export so we want to export the result of this query and then we have to click next and then says that what should be the output so export format you click there you can see we have html json pdf csv so you can select the format of the exported file and then you can also select some names here so let's say name can be any name here and then you have to just click on finish so after this 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 uh, result could have been exported in in the folder where you have sql light or sql light studio so that was for export and then we have another option that is uh, to create view from query so you can also create views like this so if you click there it should create some uh, so that that can be used uh, to create views so after that you have to commit it and then we say yes okay and then now you can see in the view so before that we had nothing but now we also have a view we have selected any name for that but now we have 
we have created a view and you can see here uh, there are three different tabs this is for view this is for sql editor and this is the original student table we created so in this way you can see we can have a, a structure we can have some constant we can have index indexes if we can create triggers also they are also possible so a lot of things are there to explore in this sql light uh, studio and this is a lightweight uh, and this is uh, used in mobile phone this is used in embedded systems this is used in iot's this is used in browsers so very much helpful very much important database engine which we just uh, demonstrated some of the things which we can do in this sqlite studio and um, yeah so hopefully this was a bit helpful for some of you and hope to see you in some other video on some other topic Thank you.